when Lisa and I first spoke about bringing Hillel to Poland, it was after she had bought a group from Trinity College and the Toby Center had already worked with several Hillel groups, including from Northwestern, Brown University, and Baltimore area Hillels. And it became increasingly clear that we had a very good program and it should be more widely implemented. Poland offers an extraordinary forum for young American Jews or young Jews from anywhere in the world, Israeli, South American, European, Australian, to learn about Jewish history, to learn about heritage, to confront and challenge some of the most difficult and certainly the most traumatic episodes in Jewish history, and to explore what it means for Jews in spite of all of the traumas and the triumphs. What does it mean to be a Jew today in Poland? And what could that mean for me to be a Jew in, let's say, Urbana, Illinois, or Berkeley, California, or in Washington, DC? Connecting our, our worlds between Hillel in the United States or North America and Poland is just such an exciting and innovative proposition because I view Hillel as a living laboratory. When I first came to Poland, what I expected to find was what every Jew expects to find when they come to Poland, a place of cemeteries, a place of death, a place of ashes, a place of the past. It was so surprising and exciting to find a place where young people are looking to the future. I see a reflection of the best of our students at Hillel in the United States, and I see so many opportunities for points of connection. When we were at the Galicia Museum in Krakow, one of our guest speakers spoke about the difference between a mission and a quest. And I really feel like together we're on a quest on this trip. There aren't many opportunities to come to Poland and look beyond death and Holocaust and cemeteries. And together we're really exploring each other's family history, where we want to take our students in the future, what our hope is for Jewish renewal in Poland. Together we were helping to rebuild a story that we wanted to tell our students in the future. This has really been an amazing trip. I was here in 1993 and it's completely different type of trip. Um, really the focus then was to to visit the death camps and to to really paint a, a certain type of narrative. But being here all these years later, I've got to see a completely different place. I see young Jewish students and organizations and people who aren't Jewish but care tremendously about Judaism and the history of Poland. It's really it's just been amazing. The fact that there's just such life here, whether it was from going to the synagogue here in Warsaw, or going to the JCC, and then going to Krakow, and having a Shabbos dinner with 200 people uh, outside in a beautiful environment, and meeting someone who's a Polish-born rabbi who's now coming back to serve the community, has really made a huge impression on me. I really think that it's something not only that we are, we're obligated to teach about, but it's something that, if people can, that we really need to show them. The more I hear and the more I feel my own connection, with Polish Jews. It used to be the biggest Jewish community in Europe. Many people in Russia are focused only on Russia, so we need to be more wide and wise and to study Poland culture too. What I most value about these student tours is the chance to interact with students in an informal setting. Uh, that's a wonderful personal opportunity. It's something that's much more difficult in, in uh, a college or in a university atmosphere than it is when you're participating in a uh, trip where uh, you have a lot more opportunities to simply get to know one another. And uh, I also value the spontaneity of these trips. I found it to be an extremely enriching educational experience. I think for Israelis, it's particularly important to understand the wider fabric of history and of this place, and uh, putting the history of the Holocaust in a wider context. I certainly leave feeling very optimistic about the future here. 
I'm interested in the program on, on two separate levels. On one hand, the um, comparison of the challenge of what it means to build Jewish community in an environment where there hasn't been Jewish community. By contrast with what we have in the United States where we have a lot of Jewish community and we're not doing it very well. And what can we learn from the experience of the community here in Poland that will help us to do what we're doing better and also to help our students have a larger sense of what it means to be connected with more than just the Judaism that they experience themselves, uh, but what Judaism means both on a vertical and a horizontal axis to their lives. For me, one of the reasons why I applied for this trip is because I'm of Polish ancestry on my father's side, and I thought it would be an amazing opportunity to come and see where some of my roots are from. I just thought it was amazing how many young people that are so engaged and want to play a role. And it's different from where I come from. You don't have that as much. It's really important for us, for the Jewish community here in Warsaw and in Poland, that the Jewish world out there will understand that we're here, we're alive, and that Polish Jewry didn't finish with the Holocaust, but actually we're continuing, and that uh, we're part of this global Jewish peoplehood. And each time when a group like this visits us, we can actually say that we're here and share our experience. I think the most important aspects of good student programs is a lot of variety. On the one hand, to see uh, the uh, great uh, monuments of uh, the past, uh, the cemeteries in uh, Poland, the old synagogues. On the other hand, though, to see the present, uh, to meet real people, to visit Jewish community centers, uh, to interact with people their uh, own age. Uh, to visit not only Jews but also Poles, to understand that uh, Poland is no longer part of what we used to quaintly call Eastern Europe, that's a relic of the Cold War, but that Poland is in the center of the European Union. It's one of the most dynamic countries in the uh, EU. And that there is an uh, interesting process going on, not just, uh, not, not only are Jews uh, discovering the important place that Poland played in their history, but Poles are discovering that they can understand their own history without thinking about Jews. And so it's a very interesting uh, process where people learn about each other and they also learn about their own identity. There are Jews here, young Jews, Jews the ages of our students, who are taking ownership of building their communities. Uh, just as we want them to do in the United States and just as they are doing. I think that just as there are wonderful, new, exciting Hillels being formed in Germany and in the former Soviet Union, this place too deserves the focus of our attention and I think that we should do everything we can to nurture, bolster, help, and create relationships that are meaningful and we can all learn and grow from. Poland offers one of the best forms for students, community members, to explore, to challenge, to engage in, and to connect with their own personal Jewish identities. It's not just about taking yourself out of your home community, which gives you a certain amount of space, a certain amount of distance. It's about coming to a place where you would least likely expect to perhaps find yourself.